This is Lesotho, a country completely surrounded by South Africa. Hello, welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're looking at the land known as the Kingdom in the Sky. It's a high-altitude, landlocked kingdom in southern Africa, entirely enclosed within South Africa's borders. Lesotho is renowned for its stunning mountainous terrain, with the Drakensberg and Maloti Mountains dominating its landscape. Stay with us to explore more about Lesotho's breathtaking landscapes and the lifestyle of its people. Lesotho is an enclaved country, surrounded by South Africa. It is located in the southernmost part of Africa, about 500 miles south of the equator. Lesotho covers around 11,720 square miles, making it slightly smaller than the state of Maryland. Lesotho has a temperate climate with hot summers and cold winters. The average yearly temperature is around 59 degrees Fahrenheit. However, temperatures can drop below freezing in the winter, especially in the highland regions. The topography of Lesotho is predominantly rugged and mountainous. A significant amount of the country is made up of the Drakensberg and Maloti Mountains, the lowest point is 1,188 meters above sea level, making Lesotho the highest country in Africa. There are deep river valleys and gorges throughout the landscape. The high altitude impacts Lesotho's climate and vegetation. Lesotho's main natural resources are water, agricultural land and diamonds. Lesotho has large water reserves supplied by rainfall and melting snow from the mountains. This allows hydroelectric power generation. The river valleys provide fertile land for grazing livestock and some crop cultivation. Diamonds are mined in several mountainous regions. Other resources include clay, sandstone and building stone. Lesotho can be divided into three main geographic zones the lowlands, foothills and highlands mountains. The lowlands make up about a quarter of the country. This region has the warmest climate and the capital city, Maseru, is located here. The foothills transition between the low and highlands. The highlands region covers mountains, plateaus and valleys. This area experiences cold winters with frequent snowfall. Major urban centers are located in the valleys. The Kingdom of Lesotho is home to over 2 million people, according to the World Bank. They are from various ethnic and linguistic backgrounds. Around 99% of Lesotho's population identifies as Basotho, an ethnic group native to the region. The Basotho descended from Bantu-speaking migrants who settled in the area in the 16th-17th centuries. They have ancestral and cultural ties to other Bantu ethnic groups like the Zulu and Xhosa of South Africa. Basoto society is rooted in tribal affiliations and traditional customs. Most Basoto follow Christianity, predominantly Roman Catholicism, which was introduced in the 19th century by missionaries. Other denominations include Anglicanism and various Protestant faiths. Many Basoto also adhere to traditional African religions and beliefs. These involve veneration of ancestors, divination and elements of nature worship. Islam and Hinduism have small minorities as well. Sesotho is the national language spoken by the vast majority of Lesotho, it is a Bantu tongue closely related to Setswana, spoken in Botswana. Sesotho has click consonants like other Bantu languages. English and Zulu are also widely used in Lesotho. The food here is based on the staple grain sorghum and features several traditional dishes that reflect the agricultural traditions of the Basotho people. We'll highlight a few iconic foods that give a taste of Lesotho's culinary heritage. One of the most common dishes is papa, a porridge made from maize that can be cooked soft or firm. It is served at almost every meal, breakfast, lunch and dinner. 
Moroho refers to the green leafy vegetables that are an essential side dish in Lesotho. Things like spinach, pumpkin leaves, beetroot leaves, and cabbage are sautéed with onions and tomatoes for a savoury moroho. Samp is dried and then stamped corn kernel, almost resembling couscous. It is prepared by boiling until soft and can be enjoyed just with milk and sugar. Located in southern Africa, Lesotho has been inhabited for thousands of years. The early history of Lesotho begins with the San hunter-gatherers, who were the first inhabitants of the region. Around the 16th century, Bantu peoples migrated into the area. In the early 1800s, the Sotho people settled in the fertile valleys of what is now Lesotho. Conflict arose between the Sotho tribes until King Moshoshu. I united them in the 1820s. He founded the Basotho nation, which laid the foundations for the future kingdom of Lesotho. In 1868, Lesotho became a British protectorate and was placed under direct colonial rule. The nation was then known as Basutoland. Under British control, Lesotho was treated as a labor reserve for South Africa's mines and farms. This caused great social and economic upheaval, yet the Basotho people retained their identity and traditional customs. After years of political agitation, Lesotho finally gained full independence from Britain in 1966. Moshoshu II became the first king and constitutional monarch. In the years after independence, they struggled with internal political conflict and interference from South Africa. After a period of instability, they transitioned to a democratic government in the 1990s. Today, Lesotho combines modern governance with its traditional heritage as a kingdom. It continues to overcome challenges like poverty and unemployment. Some influential figures in Lesotho's history are King Moshoshu Avai, who united the Basotho chiefdoms, King Moshoshu II, who led the way to independence, and Prime Minister Liabua Jonathan, who ruled the country for many years. The World Bank estimates that Lesotho's GDP is roughly $2 billion as of 2022. The economy relies heavily on just a few sectors. Agriculture employs about 70% of the population and contributes around 7.7% of GDP. The main crops are maize, wheat, pulses, sorghum and barley. Outside of agriculture, Manufacturing is the biggest contributor to GDP at around 20%, largely textile and apparel production. Diamond mining used to be significant, but output has declined. Tourism, while growing, remains underdeveloped compared to South Africa. Due to Lesotho's small domestic market, it depends heavily on exports, mainly to the US and South Africa. Garments account for around 40% of exports. Diamonds constitute another 20%. Other exports are footwear, road vehicles, wool and mohair, and water sold to South Africa. Lesotho also relies on imports for most of its medicine, food, energy, and technology. Lesotho faces high poverty and unemployment rates of around 25%. It has one of the highest income inequality rates in the world. Lesotho's average GDP per capita is relatively low at around 1500. The economy is vulnerable to external shocks and natural disasters that impact agriculture. The loss of textile jobs to overseas suppliers has also harmed the manufacturing sector. Looking ahead, Lesotho aims to increase economic diversification, especially in manufacturing. It has potential for growth in areas like horticulture, tourism and telecommunications. Lesotho also plans major investments in infrastructure, technology and skills training. However, lack of access to ports and heavy reliance on South Africa remains a long-term challenge. If you enjoyed this video on Lesotho, you'll love this next one.